Believe it or not, you can now play Genshin Impact on the Steam Deck without any special trickery and it plays extremely well. We'll cover gameplay and best settings in a separate video, this is just our install guide so let's get into it. First of all you need to switch over to Steam Deck desktop mode and open your favourite browser. Head over to the Genshin Impact website. If you haven't created a Hoyoverse account already to play Genshin Impact then do so at this stage, it will save you a lot of time and effort later. And then once you've got your account, just download the client. Now you can download the client from the home screen, but I wanted to make sure that all my account was correct. So once you've got the PC client, download it somewhere easy to get to. So I just choose the downloads folder as it's quick and simple. Then head over to your Steam library and click on add a game, add a non-Steam game, and then hit the browse button. Browse to your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded the installer and make sure that you change the file type to all files. And now you can select the Genshin Impact install. Hit add selected programs and this will add it to your Steam library. Go and select the installer that you just added and go to the properties using the settings menu on the right hand side. And change the compatibility to Proton Experimental. So tick the force use specific Steam compatibility tool and just select Proton Experimental from the list here. And now you can launch the installer. This is the general install process for a lot of XEs. So if you are familiar with this, you can skip to the controller section at the end. Hit the T's and C's and install now, and this will go through the basic install process. Accept the Visual C++ install and install that. And then the Genshin Impact installer will come up. So hit run now, and this will start the installer process. If you've got enough space on your Steam Deck SD, you will need 135 gig roughly. Then you can leave this at the default path, but I didn't, and I also wanted this on my SD card for testing, so I did change the path to my SD card folder. If your SD card isn't mounted because you haven't got any command arguments or it just doesn't auto mount, then you can use the auto mount script, which makes this a lot easier, and I'll leave a link for that in the description below. Once you've set the install process going, set this aside and make sure it stays awake on desktop mode. Very important, you want to complete this entire process in desktop mode as it makes things a lot easier and it can cause issues switching over to game mode when installing. This will take around an hour, even though the time remaining for download does say around 30, 40 minutes. This took just over an hour and a bit for me, even though it did seem to have a fairly consistent download rate. Once the download's finished, it may or may not get stuck on verified game resources. If it does get stuck, you can just exit out here. If it doesn't and it progresses, then just let it finish and you can skip that section in just a minute. If you've quit out or if that finished installing and you've closed the installer, you want to go and find it again. So you, for this, you will need to hunt down your Steam compatibility folder and you can find this in your home directory. If you haven't got show hidden files, shown then use the three line menu up in the top right and say show hidden files go to dot steam and then steam and scroll down to steam apps and go into that folder and then into the compact data folder which is up the top here once in this folder you want to run search and you want to search for genshin space impact space game you should only have one folder here. If you have multiple, then you might have to try each one of these out, but open that folder and then head one level back up. In this folder, you should find the launcher.exe. This is what you want to add to your Steam library next. You can go ahead and remove the installer from your library now, just by going to the right click menu, manage and remove on Steam game from my library. You don't have to remove it, it just avoids having extras that you don't need there anymore. If you're using a keyboard or you're familiar with all the keyboard shortcuts and commands, then you can go and copy the path from that launcher.exe. And then when you add a game and add a non Steam game once again, this makes the process a little bit simpler. As when you go to browse, you can paste in the file name section the path that you just copied and hit open. Note that right clicking and hitting paste doesn't work in this pop up. You have to use the keyboard shortcut or you can use the Steam paste option from the overlay keyboard as well. So once you've put that in, or you'll have to manually navigate to this section, you can find the launch.exe and add it through selected programs to your Steam library.
go to your launcher.exe and go into the settings menu and properties. Set the compatibility mode as before to Proton Experimental. And also rename the shortcut to Genshin Impact. This will make life a little bit easier when we go back to game mode and also makes it look a little bit nicer in your library. Once that's renamed, just hit play and run the launcher. If you were able to finish the verification process the first time around, this will say launch. If not, it will say download. Just go and check that the installer location is correct. And then hit download and this will start the verification process. It may sit on this verify game resources for a couple of minutes, but it will then kick off and you'll start seeing it do the full unzipping process. Once again, this will take between 30 minutes and an hour, depending on the speed of your SD card and how quick you are to wake your Steam Deck up from going back to sleep in desktop mode. Once this is complete, the launch button will light up. Hit the launch button and make sure that everything runs okay. And if you see the login screen, you can now quit out and switch back over to game mode. This step is optional, but if you have the Steam Grid DB plugin for Decky Loader, because you've called it Genshin Impact, if you hit the change artwork, you should have all the Genshin Impact artwork available for your capsule, wide capsule and hero. So you can set those to make your library look amazing. If you don't have the Decky Loader plugin or Steam Grid DB, then you can check out our ultimate Decky Loader guide, which I'll link in the description below to how to get these installed. Head into the properties of Genshin Impact and make sure that the compatibility is still set to Proton Experimental. It shouldn't change, but sometimes it does between desktop and game mode and just hit launch. Once again, you should now hit the launcher and it should just say launch here. If for whatever reason you've got an issue with your install directory, then you may have to repoint it there. And you want to make sure that your gamepad is set to gamepad with joystick mouse or gamepad with trackpad mouse and launch the game. Now the controller doesn't work during the initial phases of the game, so you will need to use the touchscreen or the mouse shortcuts to log in and verify your account. But once you're through to the main screen, it will do a, another slight download of resources and verification process, but this usually takes less than five minutes. And then you can click to begin. Once again, the controller doesn't work at this point, so you'll either need to tap on the screen or use your mouse shortcut. Once you've loaded into the game, unfortunately, once again, even if you have that controller layout set, it defaults to keyboard and mouse in game. So if you press the three line menu up on the top right of the Steam Deck, it will open the pause menu and then use the mouse shortcut, the Steam key in either the joystick or the trackpad to go into the settings. And under controls, you want to change the control type from keyboard to controller. Now your Steam Deck controller should kick in and you should have all of the controller buttons start popping up or your navigation and for movement around. That's it, you can now go and play Genshin Impact on Steam Deck with no further issues. Hopefully this still works after the big update of 3.6 which is around a month away and this will be our experience on Steam Deck moving forwards. We will have some gameplay and best settings guide going up for this as well so feel free to check that out. Otherwise, you can just trust us when we say that we recommend putting this on low at 45 frames per second cap. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.